We're heading to Storm Crow Manor today, and it's a little bit of a nerdy bar and restaurant. You'll see why when we get there. But they also put a fun twist on how you can order your food and drinks. So we'll show you that when we get there. Let's go. Storm Crow as a concept was initially started in 2012 by the founder of PopCap Games. The idea was to build a nerd bar themed around all things fandoms with board games, memorabilia and a menu stuffed with references from any corner of the geek world. This idea was then manifested into two different locations, both based in Vancouver. Due to the success of that, then expansion plans were made and they finally brought the concept to Toronto a few years ago, converting an abandoned heritage mansion into what we now know as Stormcrow Manor. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, the Vancouver locations have since closed, but the manor is still going strong. This place opened not too long after I moved to the city. Because I do enjoy a number of nerdy things, from video games, to Marvel and DC, to Lord of the Rings, to Star Wars, and most things in between, I was very intrigued to try this out, and I'm happy to say that this has fast become one of my favourite places in the city to visit. There are many things to like about this place. The decoration is outstanding, with huge amounts of memorabilia and references. The attention to detail can be seen everywhere, even down to the bathrooms which have floor-to-ceiling Marvel comic covers and panels. That also seeps into the menu, which also has the same theme running through each of the items on it. The cocktails that they serve are spectacular, and some of them come in collectible mugs that you can even take home with you. The food also complete with themed names, is delicious and also inventive. Therefore, if you have any inclination to anything that might be considered a bit nerdy, this is the place for you. Even if not, then the beautiful thing is that everyone is welcome to come and enjoy it all the same. So, aside from their regular menu offerings, then what they also do is what they call their dungeon burger. So the idea is you get this menu sheet here which lists a bunch of different toppings and everything like that you can if you would much rather just choose your topping and go from there however if you want to make it fun and maybe a little bit more random and go for a crazy combination then each of these that you have here has a number assigned to them and for that you then roll a 20-sided dice so something like this and then you can just allow for the dice to decide what you're going to have in your burger so with that I'm gonna do just that so let's see what we come up with so the first thing we have is bun so let's go for that I've rolled a 16 which means I'm getting mine on sourdough great start so I'll mark that off here next up is the meat I've rolled a 20. Yeah, you're a stranger than fiction. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you very much. Which is technically a triple beef burger, but it does cost an extra $9, so I may end up just re-rolling that. Gotta save money. Okay, so I've got an eight, which is beer battered fish. Let's see how this goes. And then with sauces, I get to choose three sauces as part of the package here. So let's see what we get. So sauce number one, 17, so that's tartar sauce, great for the fish, very lucky. Let's see what else I get. Okay, so I've rolled a nine there. Barbecue sauce, okay. And then finally, I've rolled a six, mayo. Not bad, okay. okay I can go on board with this. All right. Then we have toppings, like with the sauces, I'm allowed three. So let's see what we get. Banana peppers. So it's gonna be a spicy meatball. Fantastic. Uh, seven, so that is tomato. Okay. And then 
Another seven. Okay, I need to re-roll. Twelve. Onion. Okay, pretty standard. Excellent. Uh, then have alignment. So anybody who's a Dungeons and Dragons player will know that there's nine different alignments you can go for. So doesn't necessarily mean anything for your burger, but you get like a nice little card with it. So I've got four chaotic evil. Fantastic. And then finally, I get to choose my side here. So and with that, I get chickpea fries. How about that? Pay an extra three bucks for it, no, but it's worth it. No, do something it. different because I'm getting chickpea fries. So roll again. But I just. But I, you want them or? I do. Okay, then have your chickpea fries. <laughs> I actually fries. do want my chickpea fries. Okay. I've rolled for an elite topping and I'm getting some avocado on it. Okay, perfect. So this is what I've got here now. Um, and I can name my legendary sandwich as well. So what should I name it? Nick and Rachel recommend. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So, all right. And then I just have to top up my own little price, work it out based on the extras aren't going in, and then that's basically it. So, twenty-three fifty. Okay, and so this is the burger. We have my chicken fries, and we have the fish burger with all of the different things I ended up rolling for. And then on top of that, with the alignment, then you get this neat little card that basically tells you exactly what it's all about. So there we go. I mean, it's dripping with sauce, but let's try and see if I can hold it in my hands and get a bite. I feel like good luck picking that up. Yeah, right? And getting your mouth around it. Yep. This like, is going to be a bit of a challenge. Let's challenge accepted. The fish is divine, but I need to try more of it. Nick's going to be done his meal before I even start on my chickpea fries, which I have here. I can safely confirm. Once I wipe all the sauce off, that, that's actually really good, really good. I kind of feel like, generally speaking, you can't go wrong with any of the combinations because they have been selected for you. So yeah, the Nick and Rachel recommend burger. Good stuff. Okay, so as I mentioned, I got the chickpea fries on the menu. They are known as the legendary chickpea fries and they 100% live up to that name. This is the second time that I've had them here. and. I don't know why I would try anything else other than maybe like the dungeon burger, but these are so good and I've never been anywhere else where they have chickpea fries. So that was absolutely delicious. In future, if you're feeling like being a bit more adventurous with your culinary choices and all that kind of stuff, then definitely go and just let the D20 decide what your burger's gonna be. It's 100% worth it. It was very messy, but it was delicious. So that was great. But the explorations with 20-sided dice don't finish there. They also have this thing called the random shot, whereby you have 20 different options available to you and you roll a D20 in order to let it decide for you what shot you're gonna get out. Thankfully, pretty much everything on the menu is a good thing, so with that then you can't really lose, but it's always a fun thing to do. Alright, rolling for a shot. Number six, that is Beam Me Up Scotty. Okay. Do you want to know what's that? Yes, please. Yeah, so we got Kahlua, Bailey's, and banana liqueur. Oh, this sounds wonderful. That All sounds right. so <laughs> good. Six is the shot. Here we go. So good. Oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah. I have come here a few times. I have rolled for a number of shots in the past. And to be honest with you, while this is wonderful, the great news is actually with a lot of the other shot options, they're about as good, if not better. So, yeah. The $6 is definitely worth giving a go. We hope you enjoyed coming to Stormcrow Manor with us. We had a great time. Until the next time though, take care. And keep smiling.